They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? How are we doing? It's your boy, the Squirrel. <laughs> I actually got that in the cup. <laughs> to the bed. <laughs> Not expecting that. What's going on? How are we doing? <laughs> it's your boy, the squirrel. It's uh, what's Friday? Uh, well, when you're watching this, Friday. It's time for still game. This is uh, series four, episode five. This is Hatch. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Winston's going to sit on a goose egg throughout the whole episode and hatch a bird. I don't I have no idea. But let's get into it. It's uh, it's that time. You know, and Chatty has been waiting since like 12.30 for this. I don't know. There we go. What's up, Chatty? If you're there, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> how are you guys doing? Hey, I put out, or I should put out, or I might have put out, or maybe I didn't put it out yet, but I, I did a nice unboxing from LexTex. Um, I think I put it out earlier today. I should have if I did this right. Uh, make sure you check that out if you get a chance, please. Uh, some really, really cool stuff. Um, and uh, I always like to share that with everybody. So, all right, here we go. <laughs> We got to switch screens. Hi, Zah. Hello, Victor. Hi, Zah. Let me guess. Tuesday lunchtime. No, you've done all your shopping on Monday, all your tins and whatnot. So I'm reasoning that what's in that pot is half a tin of Heinz's tomato soup. There you are. You happy? <laughs> now piss off, Mrs. Poirot. Charming. Heinz in. You get the third degree, huh? Hi. She's always there. Can you get past her? <laughs> She's like a bastard in Harry Krishna. Used to took the lid off that pot and threw the Harry soup in a bit. I would have done, but it's not hot enough. It's a bona fide scald and she's needing nosy cow. <laughs> I mean, seriously, but I mean, how many times out of ten is it that you get across that landing without her interfering in your bloody business? Out of ten? <laughs> Two. Three, maybe. Hey, right, Jack. What garbage are we watching today? Sasha. Uh, see, that fella there, right, brought up with his sister. Turns out it's the mother, and he's had a ride at her into the bargain. Uh, it's a mess. Uh. Boy meets more, boy shags more, boy loses more. I love a simple tale. Well, it's either that or the wee fat lassie that sells you the houses in Spain, you know? <laughs> Ooh! What's that, Jack? I hear Victor, don't touch that. That's, um, that's a thing, me. A what, me? A uh, remote control for the, um, what do you call it, the dish, the sky thing. When did you get Sky? Uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, my Fiona got it for me. She's paying for it. I said no, but she insisted. Ach, it's got millions of buttons on it. Jesus, Jack, you've got about 150 channels and you're making us watch a bunch of inbred bastards fighting. Just leave it. You'll just end up running up a bill. Oh, no, it doesn't work that way. See, Big Arthur's got this, you know. It's a package you get, one payment you. You watch what you like. Uh, Fiona said that right enough. I can't not bothered. Uh, we'll get bothered with it, Jack. This is the bollocks. The bollocks. Menu. Right. You've got the lot here. Will you just leave it? What is that? White heat. White heat? That's not supposed to be on the day. <laughs> it says no, but it's on your sky. Oh, it's on another one. Oh, <laughs> that's a high chaparral. Christ, that's not been on for years. i leave it there. No. Oh, oh no, Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. Oh, 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 you've you've got wildlife twenty four hours a day. Can I just say I really miss Steve Irwin? Is that to say that? Yeah. That's smashing. You jammy bastard. I'm moving in. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Moving in. UK gold. Oh, that's an old treasure. I've seen this one. That boy there gets his cock bit off by a rottweiler, but the owners are refusing to have the dog destroyed, eh? Mm -hmm. That boy there's sitting there with no cock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Hey. Right. literally just got tea up the back of my nose. I was taking a sip of tea, and they started talking about this guy getting his cock bit off. <laughs> Bloody shagging his maw. There he is. <sighs> <laughs> Margaret and Thomas, come in. Thanks, Dad. God, it's bloody freezing in here. 
Oh, how have you not got your fire on? You feeling it cold, are you? I'm roasting. Are you? Eh? No, I'm actually freezing. But if I tell myself I'm roasting, it's no so bad. <laughs> right. What's all this about? Oh, what's it always about him? What have you done this time, you wee arsehole? <laughs> the party's smoking dope. We warned him. If he didn't wrap it, he wasn't going to Blackpool with us. Seven o'clock he came in this morning. That's it. We go in the morning and he's yeah. no coming. So there's a spare seat? You're Happy days. I'll come to Blackpool with you. <laughs> you can stay here, son. Knock yourself out. Should he bite? Listen, Dad, we need you to look after him. No way. You can stick that right up your ass, Margaret. <laughs> I've done all that already. You and Brian. I'm supposed to be in my twilight years, enjoying myself. I could be doing without looking after that cheeky monkey. She's gonna put on the waterworks. He'll do it. Dad, it's not just that. Carrie and I need this break. We're not getting on. Well, how long are you away for? Just a week. A week? What am I meant to do with him for a week? Take him to the bloody zoo. I need to keep on top of him, keep an eye on him. Oh, please. Come on, Dad. Right. Fine, but I'm the boss. Aye. What I say goes. Of course. Right, well, you'd better get away and do your packing. Oh, thanks, Dad. You must be right chuffed with yourself. Doing yourself out a holiday. I'm not bothering. Aye. Lassies, shagging, pubs, Blackpool shite, innit? it? Right, spare them through there. Go and dump your stuff. It's Blackpool shite. Let's lay the ground rules straight away. This is my house, and as such, the rules laid down in my house should be obeyed at all times. Any breach of said rules will result in a swift kick in the tadger, <laughs> and your mum and dad will be grass too. You'll find me hard but fair. Keep your head down, and your nose clean will get along just fine. But know this, I run a tight ship, not a shite tip. <laughs> shite tip. You'll be expected to muck in. You're a black sheep, Thomas. But if you play your cards right, you could be a graceful swan. Oh, a boot camp. That's how it's going to be, son. Day the world are good. <laughs> <laughs> Victor, come on. Enough's enough. Now, just give me 20 more minutes, Jack boy. This Arctic wolf hasn't had a meal in eight weeks. <laughs> well, why don't you hop into your own house? Because I'm bloody knacker. What? Well, I mean, you've been watching it all day. Enough's enough. Come on, that's plenty. What are you doing going to your bed at this time for anyway? Well, I always go to my bed at half ten. You're the late bed, and I like to go to bed early. Makes me perky in the morning. <sighs> ah, well, fair dues. Fair enough, Jack. You get to your bed and I'll just guess the end of my programme. Ah, well, I'm sorry and all that, but you know. <sighs> oh, you're quite right. I'm being a leech. Taking liberties. You've got Sky and I've no. <laughs> I'll let her sell it. <laughs> Night. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Who's your asshole? Yeah, am I? Who's your asshole? Isa. That's great. Yeah, shit to see you. I can see that, Isa. Yeah, and, and he's got his tool bag with him. Hmm. That's because I asked him to bring it with him, Isa. Come on, Shug. Hmm. Oh, it's a bastard, isn't it, Isa? It's a bastard. The mystery. The tool bag. Oh, what can Shug be doing up at Jack's door with a tool bag? <laughs> Driver nuts. <laughs> right. What is it you're trying to do here, eh? Well. Victor's maintaining if we run a wire for that satellite box to his television through that wall there, right, he'll get cable as well. Would that work? Aye. Oh, magic! Aye, uh, uh, but you'd have to watch what Jack was watching because you've only got the one signal, you see? Uh, and if he changed his channel, it would change yours. Ugh, right enough. That's shite. How's it shite? 
Cos that's all you watch, isn't it? Shite. Shite. Oh, you watch a shite. Prefer my own shite to your shite. Are you on this bloody cable or not? Well, I, Jack, but I mean... Picture the scene, you know. Jaws, the last five minutes, right? I'm on the edge of my seat, in my own who script. The shark's bearing down on the chief of police. He's got one bullet left. One last chance to kill it. He looks down the barrel. He cocks the gun. Boof. Boof? What happens? I don't know, Jack. I'll never know, cos you've turned it over to QVC. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make one thing perfectly clear, Victor. I am the principal viewer. I have the remote. I am in control. That thing there is at my behest. You, however, well, you are the secondary viewer. Of lower importance, if you will. <laughs> if you don't like that... I don't like it. Tell you what, Shug. Key jack the cable, Jack. Roll it up and stick it up your ass. Oh, behave yourselves. You're like a pair of bloody wains. Look, why don't I put a hatch through there? What for? Well, that way... That's where the hatch comes from now. I fucking know. You'll be able to <laughs> talk to each other. Rationally. You know, uh, coordinate your viewing. Victor, if you want Jack to change the channels, you just have to step up to the hatch and ask. Oh, that sounds good, eh? We could buy, buy one paper. I could pass it to you. I could take turns of making tea and sandwiches and that. I could pass you soup through the hatch. I wouldn't have to meet eyes on the landing. We could communicate without even leaving the house. Shug, keys a hatch. Nice wee hatch. Oh, Jesus. Not bad, eh? Oh, it's a good thing, this. Yes. It's a smart thing. <laughs> eh, do you think it's a bit big? Eh, no. <laughs> I didn't realise that the bricks were going to come away. It's that easy. Oh, it's, it's better to have a door, you know. Gives you better options. Right, Lazarus. Get up, you lazy bastard. Out your wanking chariot. Oh, <laughs> 6.45. <laughs> As captains of industry have closed world-breaking deals by this time in the morning. Oh, I'm, I'm knackered. Come on, I'm off here. Listen, son. A boy your age should be up and about. Not wasting the day away. There's things to be done. Oh, aye? What are you doing today? Never you mind what I'm doing today. I'm an old man. You see this big fat beard belly here? I've earned it. I'm a pensioner. I've got every right to loaf about. You have me. The boy should be up and seize the day. Get yourself busy. Get a job. Morning, hen. Now, you see, when I was you, Jesus! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Morning, Jack! Oh. These two are not there. There's still a lot of dust coming off it. Aye, aye, that'll settle. Oh. Time did you get your bed last night? Oh, quarter to one. Oh, there was a good Bet Davis picture on last night. Well, oh, she was a right bastard in it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I was thinking. You know what we should do? What's that? We should get a pair of curtains, one on either side, just in case, if for any reason, that the council are up here sniffing about. Aye, aye, that's a good call. We'll pop into Kelvin House. They've got nice stuff. Aye, aye, we'll do that, aye. Oh, God. What's the matter with you? I've got a boil kicking after my arse. Is it any bloody wonder doing 12 hour shifts in front of the television? You're sweating <laughs> it, man. Yeah, any cream? Eh, through by. Oh, or should I say, through by. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's a top shelf there. Oh, eyes off. Morning, Jack. What is it? Is that Victor? What's Victor doing in your house at seven o'clock in the morning? Eh, uh, he came across for butter, a line of butter. Where is this ice cream, Jack? <laughs> 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 oh, fuck, no. Oh, not what I said. No. <laughs> it, it's your turn to mop the land, and, and I was just wondering if you wanted me to do it. Aye, that would be smashed. That'd be very good of you, eyes. I mop the land. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Thank you, <laughs> Who's that? Isaac. Who else would have... Yeah! <laughs> Listen, take a look at this, Jack. It's getting bigger. Is it ready? Pop. Oof. That's like crack a tour, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, it's a cracker right enough. It's an absolute belter. Yes, squeeze. <laughs> Aye, right. Squeeze your in, manky boil. <laughs> oh, no. Hey! Oh, Calm down, Isa. Calm down. Deep breaths. Jesus, Navid, what are you doing? It's okay, Tam. I've seen this before. It's gossip overload. In. Out. Glad to see the store's back to normal. Out. In. Out. You okay now? Hi. Fine. No, hi. Okay. Now I'm going to need to move the bag slowly. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I saw my own eyes. Victor stayed the night at Jack's. I saw him this morning and he's jam jams. Don't talk shit eyes out. Does that make them gay? But I saw me in the attic. It's worse. What else did he see? Well, Victor was bent over. Jack was standing behind him. Doing the dirty business. He saw that? For my own eyes. As God is my witness. How did you see that? Through the letter box. <laughs> what are you doing looking through the letter box? What am I doing looking through the letter box? Watching one old pal pumping the other. I know I'm a nosy bastard, but try to concentrate on the picture. Sounds pretty conclusive. Jack and Victor. Jesus. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's quite simple. We lure them into the shop, bludgeon them to death, Cut off their balls and hang them from those street lamps as a warning. <laughs> no be tolerated in Craig Lang. Have the day in use, country, Navid. No, you dozy cow. We live and let live. We certainly don't bog our bastard noses through letter boxes. <laughs> so hot. Jack and Victor are gay. Big deal. Good luck to them. Isa, normally I would just let you go on me or gossiping. I would take nothing to do with it. But this is too big. How we divvying it up? Eh, how, how do you mean? Well, I want to tell the cafe, the clansmen and the bookies. No, I want the cafe, the doctors and the bingo. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> Can't tell Minna. Minna! Hey, girl, Sunne! Jack the Victor, Bunny, honey! <laughs> Bummers. Boys will be boys. He's a bit of a wild stallion, is all, but he's up against the horse whisperer here. <laughs> ah, that's right. Eh? Hey? Right, okay. Well, I'll see you when you get back. Okay, bye bye. Grandad. Hello, son. I, I thought you were done at the bookies. Ah, well, I was, aye, but I had a wee bit of a win and I didn't want to piss it all up against the wall, so I just. Here, come here. A weed plant back over here. What's that? Uh, it's just a plant. What sort of plant? It's a. Uh, a tomato plant. And what are you wanting with that? Uh, it's a gift for you. I mean, I just wanted to apologise for this morning, you know, with Tina and that. Well, that's good of you. So, uh, where's the tomatoes? Oh, they come later. The, the plant blooms first and then they grow. All right. Well, that's smashing that. I'll put that in the kitchen in the window sill. It'll be lovely. Aye. Apology accepted. Christ, you'd never think that thing could grow tomatoes. It looks just like a weed. <laughs> a weed. <laughs> oh, it's a weed. Oh, yeah. Oh no, Bobby's gonna be like, I saw him picking out curtains. <laughs> Jack, I thought. Bobby, sir. Uh, Bobby, are you getting curtains, are you? No, no. Uh, we're getting curtains. Ah, I can see that. <clears throat> Tom was uh, in the Klansman last night and told us that you were both, um, you guys were, um, that you were. <laughs> Bummers. Which is great. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> saying, um, uh, what are you saying, Bobby? I'm saying that the Klansman is for everybody. Right. So, you know, so you know, I, I just want you both to know that when you come in, you'll get served. That's good. No, you will be served. And furthermore, you will be treated like human beings. <laughs> Thanks, 
by the way, I think it's great you guys have come out. Ah, it's, it's, it's uh, good to get out. <laughs> Wanted to be a fag hag. Is <laughs> 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 it no one of you hanging Liza, mop, floor, no. <laughs> what can I do for these gentlemen? Uh, two ounces of drum. Hundig mina, a soft this done, eh? I'm not pella, you know, this year. I don't gandu. Corn is in the dinda, the corn lenda. <laughs> who's the bottom? Who's the top? Who's the pitcher? Who's the catcher? That's what she's doing. I've got a right sore arse. I've got a misty sound, huh? What? Nothing. <laughs> oh! What in the name of Christ is going on here? Thomas! Who are these wee assholes? These mates. Oh! Those shiftless bastards together, eh? Oh, you bastard. What the hell are you doing in my kitchen? Bought my finger cooking cookies in your cooker. Right, you lot. Get off your asses and sling your hook. Can I go yet? Cookies are still cooking in your cooker. <laughs> the fucking weed plant is stripped clean. <laughs> Sorry, you fanny craddock. I'll cook you. Now get out of my house and get my good titty apron out. Oh, they want to give my last 10 minutes for them to be just. Oh, well, look what you've done. Look at that, oh, that apron. smoke's killed my tomato plant. <laughs> right, here they come. Now remember, try and act as normal as possible. These guys are your friends. Nothing has changed. Right? Bobby, of all people, who would have thought? Hey, ho. <laughs> What are for? Um, <clears throat> two goldies, Bobby. <laughs> Just set in the atmosphere. Dancing Queen. And now they guys. Not because of the song, just because why the hell is everybody acting so fucking weird? Just sales. Huh? <laughs> well, you might well stand there and say nothing, you wee bastard. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry? Sorry doesn't even begin to cover it. Your mo and I come back in two hours, and I have to say the report card is not looking good. At every turn and corner, I've given you an inch and you're taking a mile. Och, I had two pies in here for my dinner. Where are they? We ate them. You ate my dinner? Yeah, I did. I drink all your beer, too. Bloody cookies for a grown man's dinner. They're Davos cookies, Granda. Ah, well, Davo isn't he here, is he? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yes, man. It's gonna get high as hell. <laughs> a glass of milk with him, that'll be lovely. <sighs> Bloody queer day. <laughs> hey, it was. Hmm. Bloody eyes on. A clansman. Oh, my God. What? We've been running about with our heads up our arses. It's as plain as a nose in your face. Bobby's gay. Of course, aye, the music and the dancing, aye. He's a... he's gay. Oh, he's gay. He's gay. Oh, well, good for him, eh? Aye.
Tell him. Ah, Jack. I'm glad you're in. This is Mick. All right, wee man. Hello, eh, Mick. I'm sorry about that carry on earlier on in the pub there. <laughs> it's a wee bit awkward for us, you know. Aye, aye, aye. We just tippled the other room. Aye, come on, come on. You'll know I've met Mick. Uh, no, we haven't, no. Hello. He lives up my next block. Aye, Eagle Heights. That's a nice clean block, that, Eagle. Brought a few tins. <laughs> Thought we could have a wee drink. <laughs> oh, satellites I've got, eh? Aye, ah, that's, uh, that's right, yes. What's that? Oh, that's a curtain we put up. That a door through to Victor's, is it? Uh, as I. That's good, that, eh? So you can just go back and forward, eh? Aye, we can, aye. Oh, jeez, is that the time? I'll need to go. <laughs> um, Mick? I'm fine, Tom. I don't have to go. <laughs> OK. Come <laughs> on. Oh, no. Cheerio. <laughs> Well, what are we doing? Just uh, having a can of beer. No, I mean, we're through here or through there. Um, here? Is that all right? Aye, that's fine. We'll finish these, then we'll have a wee jug. <laughs> Jimmy's jamming. <laughs> 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 Four more pints of lager. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, fellas. I was only trying to help. Isa told me you were gay. Isa. <laughs> she said you'd seen Beth using the van hoose in your pyjamas at seven o'clock in the morning. That's a good one right enough, eh? So all of Craig Lang thinks we're gay. Aye. <laughs> Tell me, uh, did you actually think we were gay? Well, two guys, they women. The same house. You just could be gay. Aye. I suppose we could be gay, aye. Aye. Obi. Come in any time. You'll be welcome, aye. You'll be made to feel like human beings. Eh? Huh? Let's just see, shall we? <clears throat> Picked up. Oh, we? Jack. Ugh. I think I'll go for a pee. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Do you know what? I'm needing a pee as well. <laughs> no, that's... That's too much. I'm not putting up with that. I mean, live and let live. But no in my lavies. Is that fun, you sweetheart? That's smashing, darling. Oh, that's really nice and enjoying that. Right, you couple of queer hawks. <laughs> 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 I win again. Now they're all playing PlayStation, what the hell? Bastard. What's up? It's too hard, that. I don't know if I'm comfortable sitting between you two. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to get to you. Ooh, did you bring these cookies, Winston? Aye. Why then? <laughs> oh, man. Why did it have to end there? I want to see all three of these dudes get high and play PlayStation. Um, boy, I don't even know. Let's get back to the big screen. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, 
it was a great it was a great episode uh as most of them are lots of storylines weaving at the same time not quite enough navid for me but that's okay uh bobby <laughs> bobby idiot this is great this is uh i've been wondering when we were going to get an episode where Isa's gossip goes too far I knew it was going to eventually happen, and here it was. So, uh, but the hole in the wall, what the? F- I mean, seriously, like it's a load bearing brick wall. All I was thinking was, geez, the apartment above him is going to crash down into him. But, uh, hopefully that that comes up. I'm hoping that that's like something that stays and it's something that they continuously, uh, you know, uh, reference or whatever. So, I don't know. I hope these guys ate the cookies. I hope they enjoyed themselves. I hope they had a great time. And I hope that they kicked uh, Winston's ass in the PlayStation. I got to get going. I got a uh, big day tomorrow at work. Long day of meetings and shit. But uh, guys be good, all right? Take care of each other. I'll catch you soon. Scroll up.